Hey guys, this is Lincoln with Quality Pro Reviews, and in this video, I'll be reviewing and comparing the Focusrite Scarlett 2i2 to the M Audio M Track 2x2M. Which one should you get? Well, in this video, you're gonna find out. So let's start with the overall build quality on the 2i2. Overall, this thing feels really well built from the brushed aluminum finish on the housing to the buttons, the knobs and switches. Everything feels so good about this device. If there's one thing I'd change, it'd probably be just having that silver aluminum like finish on all the knobs instead of just on the headphone and the main volume control. I'd have that everywhere. But aside from that, this thing is built really well, has a nice professional look. Industrial design is on point. Next, let's move on to IO. At the front of the unit, we have two XLR combo jacks, each with their own gain control knob and line instrument switch. Each gain control knob also has an LED halo that surrounds the knob, displaying whether your signal is peaking or not. Good signal is shown by the color green. Peaking or overloading signal is shown by the color red. Also on the front of the unit, we have a 48 volt phantom power button, a direct monitor switch, monitor volume control, also a headphone volume control and a quarter inch headphone output. At the back of the unit, we have a USB port and our stereo line outputs for our speakers. So let's now move on to a side-by-side -side comparison between the 2i2 and the 2x2M. So just in case you haven't seen my previous review on the Amtrak 2x2M, I'll put a link in the description, but let's go. So looking at both of these interfaces side-by-side, -side, you can clearly tell that there's not much difference between the two. Both interfaces have all the same features except for one, MIDI in and MIDI out. This is lacking on the Scarlett 2i2. So now to my final thoughts. Which audio interface do you buy? In my opinion, I personally think either one's a good choice. They're both well-built, totally capable audio interfaces that offer the same features. But if I had to choose one, my choice would definitely be the Focusrite Scarlett 2i2. Here's why. So first off, I love the sound of the preamps on the 2i2 more than I do on the 2x2M. Just warmer, uh, a little bit more of a boost, so I don't really have to crank my gain up on the 2i2. On the 2x2M, I had to really turn things up and then I'd get worried about peaking. Like I explained in my review, there's a really, really awful sound when it starts to peak. Anyhow, just take a listen to these examples and let me know what you think in the comments below. Testing one, two. This is a line level test of the M Audio M Track 2x2M. Uh, this is a line level test of the Focusrite Scarlett 2i2 second generation USB audio interface. Another thing that I like about the 2i2 is its size. It's much smaller than the 2x2M, which makes it great for just throwing it into your knapsack with your laptop and you can do projects on the go. Just to paint a clearer picture on how small this thing is, here are a couple of shots with my iPhone 6s beside the 2i2. You let me know what you think. So even though the Scarlett 2i2 is my choice, there are a couple of things that I wasn't too happy with and I thought I'd share them with you. First off, the lack of MIDI on this device. I can't understand why coming in at the price point of $150, why the 2i2 could not have MIDI in and MIDI out. We're not asking for much. Secondly, there seems to be a compatibility issue between the Scarlett 2i2 and Reason 9. Whenever I try to get any of the input channels going, whether it be on my Hackintosh or on my Mac, I'd still get the same message on both. Not cool. 
This seems to be an isolated issue. I've tried with older versions of Reason and it works perfectly, so hopefully it'll get sorted out soon. If you're interested, I'm giving away one of these. A video with instructions on how to enter will be in the description. So, if you like this video, hit that like button, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.